everyone. I hope you can hear me. We're going to throw a nice little yoga practice, 20 minutes long. We're going to cover uh, all the major muscle groups, the legs and thighs, the back of the legs, the glutes and the hamstrings, the shoulders, and uh, the arms, primarily going to be the triceps and the forearms. So the goal throughout the yoga practice is to stay relaxed and be really kind of cognizant of your body. It's not about strength or speed or agility in this regard. It's just kind of having that focus on your body and how you feel. The goal is not to necessarily go really low on a squat or really strong in a push-up, but just go as low as your body can, ma uh, can manage without any pain or discomfort. And if you feel a little twing in your knee or a pinch or a pop, if at all possible, contort ever so slightly. Maybe it's just a flexion of your foot your ankle or pressing your knees out or pressing your knees in or standing up a little taller whatever you can do to get through a little extra range totally pain free if you can get through a range pain free without popping and cracking then you can kind of keep reintegrating that pattern and reinforcing that motor pattern so that you can keep going through it without any pain all right so let's go for it this is really easy we're gonna start off in mountain pose we're going to start up standing, we're going to have weight even throughout our feet, our knees are softly bent, our glutes are on, our belly are on. If we think about our hips being a bucket of water, they are parallel to the floor. If I turn parallel and I arch my back, you can kind of imagine the front of everything spilling on out, my belt line being tilted down if I arch my back. If I go the other way, by using my glutes to pull down and my abs to pull up, I can get this nice and level to the ground. This is a good starting point. It's a well balanced. You don't want the back doing a lot of work. You want the abs and the glutes doing their fair share of the work so that the back can relax a little bit. Train these to come on and help and the back gets to relax. All right, so here we are on mountain. Weight even throughout our feet, knees softly bent, abs on, glutes on, hips parallel to the floor, shoulders just down back and relax make sure we're paying attention again that mindfulness we don't want to creep up towards our ears we want to keep them down and relax a few breaths nice and easy here is on your own pace with a good breath in we'll bring our hands on up overhead and the goal here is just to reach very tall, not to do a back bend to pretend to be tall, but to keep nice and tall, still have these muscles on, the abs and the glutes. The hips are still parallel to the ground. We're up here, arms are by the ears. Good breath in. On the exhale, we'll drop the right hand, left hand staying up. I'm gonna do a slight side bend here. Just a little bit of a curve to my body as I reach over, really reach the hand on, left hand on up, the right hand gets reaching on down to the ground slightly. And I want to make sure that this hand is up here by my ear, not in front of my face, not falling on down, being lazy. It's strong and by my ear, in a full range for that shoulder. Good breath in, brings both hands on up, the exhale drops the left hand. Same things on this right side as you reach for the ground reach up to the sky and a slight stretch across the side of the body. Good breath in, both hands go on up. A good breath in, going for a slight back bend. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Slight back bend. I like to work systematically. I push my hands on back first, put those hands on back. I lift my chin, neck and chest, and then finally I kind of push forward with my belly and my hips. But it's just a slight back bend and you want to make sure that you get the entirety of the back involved, not just kinking from the lower back. So again, whenever you get stuck, you go through that system. Thumbs back, lift the chin and chest, breathe in deep, and then you can finish off with the back bend. Good breath in on the exhale, we're gonna fold forward and counteract that back bend. Everything folding forward and relaxing. Let the head relax, hang and dangle, neck is relaxed, shoulders relaxed. 
back is relaxed. Knees are softly bent. Taking a nice easy breath here. Sometimes I like to cross my arms just to help me remember that I can just stay relaxed. Good breath on in, we'll roll on right on back up to standing and we'll think about all those other cues that we had. Weight even throughout our feet, knees softly bent, abs on, glutes on, hips parallel to the floor, shoulders just down back and relax. Alright, let's basically do that same thing, we're going to add a little bit more to the legs. So we're going to take a breath on in, we're going to hands on up, and on the exhale we're going to do a light squat. I want you to push your hips back. I want you to put most of the weight into your heels, until your toes feel like they're about to pop off the floor. The further you can go back, the better off position you're going to be. You don't have to go low. You just need a nice little burn happening across these, across these thighs. And as I said before, no need to have any pain in the knees. We don't have to challenge ourselves to go low. There's not a competition. You go as low as comfortable. And in time, you'll be able to sink a little lower. And with a nice bit of mindfulness, maybe you can avoid those pops and cracks. As your muscles get a little more warmed up and your joints get a little looser, you can go lower. But it's not a competition to go low right after the get-go. All right, two more nice easy breaths. Good breath in on the exhale we're going to press through the legs and we'll drop the hands good breath in let's do it one more time breath on in bring the hands on up exhale sink on down to this chair okay this time same concept so you go as low as you feel comfortable we're going to really focus on the upper body get those hands by those ears don't let them come in front of your face or mouth I want them strong by the ears. I want them reaching tall. I want you to think about making your back very long and tall. That's not necessarily arching it. It's sticking your hips on out and sticking your head on out. And it is making your body really long. Be mindful of your body. No super hard arching or rounding. Long. Reach. Another breath on in. The next exhale, we'll drive up through. We'll drop the arms and we'll relax. Let's loosen the shoulders on up. We'll roll them backwards. Up. Pinch them back and down. Together, up, pinch them back and down. Roll them together to the chest, up, pinch them back and down. Breathing through, feeling. We want smoothness here. We don't want to force any crazy moves that make our shoulders pop or catch again. Go through a range that provides a smooth rotation. All right, get the last one, get ourselves Sat on down, relax again. All right, I'm gonna come facing you. I'm gonna straddle out a little bit. I'm wider than shoulder width apart. I'm wide enough that I know I'm doing something different. I'm not wide enough that I'm having to like buckle onto the insides of my feet or do anything drastic to stay balanced. I'm still very strong and balanced in this position. 